Oh, are we traveling? Are we trying to clear the communication? It didn't lead to anything. Any what is up with arguments? Really, it's like a plague. Everybody just doesn't understand what they're trying to express. You tried though. I feel you failed big time. A big fight. And I'm telling you also, it's like they want to be left alone right now. And there's nothing that the two of you should be talking about. Okay, Leos. What do you have? Welcome to my channel. I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career finances and your relationship. I also teach people how to um, use different kinds of technique for manifestation. Especially using gemstones and crystals. I have a jewelry store. So if you're into that, you're in for a treat. And let's see what you guys have. And before you comment anything nasty in the description, in the comments, remember what comes out of you is what is inside of you. So, I'm just saying. Have you smelled trash? And have you smelled roses? There you go. Ace of Swords, you Leo, you see yourself in a way where I just wanted things to be okay and things to be fine. That's the only thing I mean and that nothing else. Relationship is a struggle because Saturn is in the seventh. And you have, you know, Aquarius here. And King of Swords, you know, your seventh house is Aquarius. I do say dear astrology, not Western. So with opposition, you know, like right now you're working hard, you know, pushing yourself committing, you're, I have to say this, you're slaving yourself in this relationship. And you tell them that, why, why am I doing this? You know, because you're, you're doing it the right way. However, they don't appreciate it, right? And they become demanding, unappreciative, and also put you in the back burner. So you're not even a priority to this person. Uh, I feel like what I'm seeing here is with your person, they're actually really, really upset, okay, that you had to call them out. Really? Okay. So they say you're a part of swords. Like, I don't want to talk to you. Is what they told you. And it's like, after we think, okay, so it's like, what? So I'm wrong? You're right? This is what you're, this is what you're saying? King of Swords, they detach and distant, cold, and giving you silent treatment. Welcome to mature relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Hierophant, Seven of Cups, yeah. You could be married to this person and you're kind of like trying to understand. It's like, I thought we're a couple, but apparently it's only me. You don't really understand anymore Seven of Cups with the Hierophant if you want to continue this. As far as you're concerned, there's a lot of bull CRAP that you have found out about your person. Lies and deceit. The Hierophant is a Taurus. What do you want then, Leo? Because Seven of Cups here is like you're, you are questioning every little thing in the relationship. Hmm. It's a dark place because it's confusing here. Do you love them? Do you care about them? Because you want to be real and honest with yourself. Hierophant. It's tough. It's tough. Because the Hierophant right here is expression of truth. That's why High Priestess shuts down. They know the truth. But High Priestess will tell the truth. So these two people right here, right? So for you, are you listening to yourself now? Hmm. A lot of people think they want a relationship until they get it. And when they get it, they, they figure it out like, ooh, you know. Especially the 20s. Okay. We all learn. A magician here with the seven of wands. I'm seeing here right now where you're manifesting your way out of this relationship. Okay, because a magician is more of like, I want to try this, I want to be the single. Seven of Wands, you're not going to deal with them. So you realize that this whole situation with your person is disaster. And you're preventing disaster from even manifesting more. The magician is Mercurial, which is Gemini. But it also takes action. And the robe actually symbolizes Mars. So you want to take a lead, this is what I'm seeing, in your life. Magician with Ace of Swords, travel opportunities, visa and passports. So you may be doing that. Hmm. Ooh, person. Can be an Aries or a Cancerian. And the way I see this is uh, they're more on the Queen of Cups and the Tower. Um, they got hurt by your action, how you talk to them. 
Poles, you know, they can be, they took it to heart. They got upset, they got triggered by that. Uh, so you could have said something and they didn't, of course. Uh, uh, I feel like they didn't understand where you're coming from. They saw it more of like an attack towards them. They still care about you. Even though you guys are separated the tower. Because you have five pentacles. But with the ace of cups, I feel like this is a person, chances are, you know, because the magician, you're doing your own thing. But with the seven of cups and ace of cups, I feel like for your person, you are their true love. The number one thing that people are looking for in their entire life is their soulmate. The remedy that I give them, wear a red thread bracelet. Can I name drop? Rihanna's been wearing this one for a very long time. In just the first hour, hundreds of order with a red thread bracelet. If I was you and you're looking for a soulmate, visit our website, eatreadlove.me. Order one today. Ace of Cups, true love it is. Will they break their silence though? Will there be a reconciliation? So, this could be a lot of things that you're trying to think of right now. Mm. Mm. Oh, Divine Timing, Star Card. Um, this is Destiny at work. There's, it's not over, I don't think so. What's not over also is you want to check out our Red Thread Real Gold, of course, Eternity Bracelet. This is free. If you get any of our Forever collection or a Holiday collection, which is right now we're going on, we have a huge sale. My The mantra for 2024, which I forgot to teach you earlier, is Black Obsidian, remove negativity, attract prosperity with a double P out real gold citrine. So you pair this. This is the Lucky Money coin and this is the citrine, okay? Pair this. And then you get this for free, actually. Mm -hmm. We ship to more than 80 countries across the globe and we ship this for free in the U.S. You have to wear the red thread prior to 2024, okay? It attracts luck, love, and prosperity also. Ooh, love! Sam, tell me, Sam. Tell me, will I attract someone? Yeah, I know. I overact. I mean, you like the stage. You're the queen and king of karaoke, so I just give you what you deserve. Over the top energy. Yes, you know, Leos, you guys like to sing in the karaoke. Um, the star and the lovers. Okay. It's uh, showing here that you have... Because uh, um, it's theatrics. You like to act. You may not be like, oh, you're not an actor, but it gives you the stage. Just in case you're wondering. It's like, oh, yeah, that's true. Why do I love it? Because fifth house. Yeah. <laughs> the star and the lovers is here, which means... You could manifest this. Yeah, Wear a red thread. I said it, and then it manifested with the lovers card. So... I'm I'm banking that this is a temporary kind of separation with the Tower and the Five Pentacles. Plus, I like that they have this with you, with the Ace of Cups. That's good. Um, this is now Divine Timing, which we said. And Two of Pentacles is a cycle, so back and forth. And the High Priestess, which I told you earlier with the Hierophant. Like, High Priestess does not speak, but the Hierophant is ready to speak and tell the truth. Both are knowing the truth, but one is hiding the truth and one is expressing the truth. Okay, we love. Mm, what else are you Ooh, I was gonna say, what else are you manifesting? Um, you're manifesting your way out of a toxic situation, the devil. Your person is a bit of a liar, seven of swords with the devil. But justice with the ten of pentacles, we get what we deserve. <laughs> I'm not saying you deserve this person. That's why you should do your cleansing first, okay? That's why obsidian is the king of removing of negativity. Repeat the mantra. If you can write it 108 times, remove negativity, attract prosperity. Remove negativity, attract prosperity. So that's why I have it both. So every time I do this, I, I go into the um, uh, mind programming, okay? It's not robotic, it has to come with intention. Seven of swords with the devil, guess who's back? And guess who's armed and dangerous? Queen of Swords is you. You've been hurt and lied to so many times that with a justice in a Ten of Pentacles, I'm seeing for some, you may be filing for divorce here and you're going to win every little penny. Mm. The only thing that you're not getting is the little penny. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing here with the Seven of Swords, the Devil and Ten of Wands, your person is going to blame you 
for everything that is wrong. What is wrong with your person? First they love you, now they hate you? What is this? Oh, these are the people, I see. You may be connecting with a person who, you know, when they say, I love you, but, oh, I get that every time, you know, especially with you know me being in, uh, in a platform like this, in a public platform. Once they say, I love you, but that's not love. That's desire. And desire is disastrous. Desire consumes. I love you, but can you? I love you, but, yeah. Mm -mm. Now, love nurtures, okay, desire consumes. So when I when someone says, I love you, but, like even just, I'm just sharing here because this is what I'm seeing, a pattern with your person, is that when someone tells you, I love you, but you cut your hair. Because for me, you guys know, I have the, you know, I love you, but your reading has changed. You liked me when I was serving you, but I have changed, so now you don't love me? So that's not real love. That's conditional and that's desire. So love has no condition because if it does, then God probably will never love us because we broke all the rules. Love is unconditional. Mm, yes. So this person is not love. This is desire. You gotta be careful. This is to possess, to own, to manipulate. Be careful, Leos, who, who you got yourself into. That's why I don't care about people who, once they say, I love you, but, oh, you don't love me. You're using that, you know. No, you desire me. Welcome. Okay. Your person will come back to you trying to make you feel like you are love. But what they want is to use you. Obsidian right away. I'll see you guys next week. Oh, tomorrow. <laughs>